Hey guys, it's Vampire Mike from Sega CD Universe, and I wanted to talk about Ninja 3 The Domination. This is the third movie in the Ninja, I guess, anthology, which, excuse me, Ninja Trilogy, it says here, which is an anthology series, first starting with Enter the Ninja, and the second film being Revenge of the Ninja. Those are also cult favorites. I recently watched Enter the Ninja and I really didn't think it was anything special. It was a little goofy and silly, but it didn't have as much going for it as this one. So I was a big Ninja fan as a kid, so I'm not sure how I missed this, but this uh, currently is around $13 on Amazon. I think I had a $10 coupon, so I got it for three bucks. And it's about this woman who is a telephone pole repair person and she climbs up a pole and it just so happens that you know whatever 50 feet away or a hundred feet away there's a guy who went into a cave and he opens up this it looks like almost like a coffin <clears throat> it might have been a coffin and there's a bunch of ninja stars and swords and things like that and then he comes out of the cave and I think it's the same person but I could be mistaken he comes out of the cave now as a ninja. So the ninja went into his body, has now infiltrated this golf course, and is randomly murdering people on the golf course who are playing and going by in their golf carts and all that stuff. It's very silly, uh, fun, but silly. Not as fun or silly as I would like in, term, in terms of the whole film, but there are moments of silliness that I could definitely see people enjoying this a lot. It's a canon film, by the way, just for the record, which which says something. So, anyhow, she she's over at the on the pole. The cops come to the golf course. They start shooting the ninja. I guess he sort of attacks them, runs away, and she goes up to him and she says, "Are you okay?" And he does some kind of spell, and the spirit of the evil ninja now goes into her. So the movie is her initially being normal and then slowly turning into this evil ninja, both fighting-wise and she's possessed. So there's like a little sprinkle of like, I guess the exorcist or something in there, not really the exorcist, but where she's possessed and she's changing colors and she's speaking in Japanese and yelling at people and you know, this demonic ninja is inside of her. So it's very goofy. There's some pretty cool martial arts and fight scenes and you know, okay blood, cheesiness. She, everything is very, very 80s. It's a 1984, I want to say, movie. Yeah, it's a 1984 movie, so she has like this flat, and in it is an arcade machine. She's wearing like short shorts the whole movie. She goes to do like aerobics at the gym, and all the women are dressed in like 80s attire, kind of like Death Spa or Killer Workout or whatever. And the lingo is a little 80s. The music is 80s, but some of it's really bad. And it's just this silly movie of this woman and her cop boyfriend who she eventually, he eventually kind of badgers her into dating him. And they're trying to exercise the, the ninja demon out of her and uh, that's it. Eventually an, another ninja comes from Japan, I guess, and he has to help them. But it's it's one of those movies that you sort of tune in and tune out. I feel like it's silly and doesn't fully grasp my attention so it's and it's not so over the top that it's crazy that you're like wow this is nuts like greasy strangler or something I'm just giving an example where you're like wow this is nuts and you can't kind of take your eyes off of it it's got lulls to it so I see why people really enjoy this one I'm not one of those people it's a decent movie it's a middle of the road for me like it's fun but it's not necessarily an 8, a 9, or a 10 it's probably more like a six. It's okay. It's kind of fun. If I was in the mood for a martial arts movie with some silly BS going on about a Japanese demon or whatever, I would probably watch it again. I think I've seen it three times already on Prime and on here and whatever. The Blu-ray looks phenomenal. There's two releases. This collector's edition is the newer, better one with, I think it's a 4K transfer if I remember correctly. Yeah, 4K scan. Looks really great. I mean, it you see everything. It's really, really nice. Um, new interview with actress Lucinda Dickey. New interview with actor Jordan Bennett. New interview with producer stuntman Alan Emile. 
New inter audio interviews with production designer Elian Ellentuck and co-composer Misha Segal, featuring isolated tracks in the original score. Audio commentary by director Sam Furstenberg and stunt coordinator Steve Lambert. The actual trailer with optional trailers from Hell. Commentary by screenwriter Josh Olson and a still gallery. So, um, Scream Factory put a pretty good comprehensive set together here. If you're a fan of this movie and it's still on Amazon at the time of this video going up for $13 and you like really cheesy but not so crazy over the top I guess, there, you know, there is crazier canon films, ninja films with a little bit of a ghost thing going on. It's You could do worse. I think it's fun. Um, yeah, I mean, like, I know I mentioned Killer Workout and Death Spa. I think those are a little more gratuitous and crazy. Kind of more tongue-in-cheek in a way. I don't know. This is good, but it's not... It just doesn't fully, fully grab me. It's it's not, like, amazing or anything. So, let me know, guys, if you've seen Ninja 3 The Domination. I've seen both sides of the fence on this, where people hate it, think it's really stupid. People love it and think the stupidity is really fun. So, let me know what you guys think. Thanks, guys, for watching. It's Vampire Mike from Sega CD Universe. Be good.